Hello everyone, I am Nasmus. Uh, you may remember me from a lot of the easy programming C++ tutorials that I've done. Uh, unfortunately, I stopped that series um, quite a while ago. Um, in early 2012, I received a new job in a higher education field where I worked a lot more with Office software such as Microsoft Office, Excel, Word, Access, PowerPoint over programming. <clears throat> the only programming I've done that involves any sort of scripting is PHP and JavaScript. Unfortunately, I haven't worked with C++ as much and I have been out of practice. I still remember the basics and I probably have to view my own tutorials to get a uh, hold of everything. But I've been working a lot with Excel over the past two years and I thought I would bring you uh, some tutorials, some stuff that I've known for a while and some new things that I've learned. So this will be a new series that I create on Excel 2013. Um, Microsoft Office 2013 was released not too long ago. Uh, it came out late last year, 2012. It has a, a new look to Office. As you can see on my screen, this is Office 2013, Excel 2013 after I've installed it. If you've used Office 2007 or 2010, you should know the ribbon here should look familiar. Uh, everything, all the tools here that you see is called the ribbon in Office. This was introduced in Office 2007, uh, several years ago. Uh, I believe that the ribbon is much better than the old file edit drop down menus because you can see the tools right in front of you. The tools are very easy. In 2007, they didn't have the file tab here. In 2010, they introduced it again after, I believe, user feedback, saying that that little button, the little circle, but circular button on the top left was not intuitive. Uh, if this is your first time using Excel, don't be scared. Excel is pretty easy once you get the hang of it. All you have to do is look at it as a big calculator. It's a very complex calculator that can save everything you need. It can get all the job done for you. Um, hopefully, I will create a series of videos where I can show you any somewhere from basics to uh, advanced features in Excel. Uh, due to my lack of time, I don't know how often the videos will come up, but for now we'll go through some of the basics. Um, the top tabs here, the home, insert, page, layout, formula, data, review, view, are all pretty old. Uh, the team one is new. Uh, this was added in 2013. Uh, as you can see on the top right hand side, you can sign in. So you can actually uh, connect your account um, to your online live account uh, or whatever office is using. I probably won't be using it as I don't really care. Um, in Excel the the letters up here are called columns. So if I tell you to look at column A you would know it's this one. The numbers on the left hand side are called rows uh, and where they meet is called the cell. Each cell has a cell address. You can either go down like this would be G7. You can either do that or you can just look up here in this, the name box right here. When I hover my mouse over it tells me what kind of box this is and it tells you G7. So if I tell you to go to L14 for example you'll know that where I'm telling you to point is here. This little bar here is called the formula bar. Whatever you type here will appear in the selected um, cell. If I type here hello world it comes up here. You can adjust columns and rows very easily. If you want to adjust a column, as you can see, Hello World goes over to cell B, cell B1. So if I type anything here, hi, the world gets cut off because the column is not long enough. To adjust the column, you hover your mouse to the right of the column that you want to adjust. And you can click and drag, or you can double click and it'll auto adjust for you. Same thing goes for row height to the bottom of the row that you want to adjust and double clicking auto adjust it. Uh, it's very easy and very useful tool to adjust columns. Uh, if you do trainings like I've been doing at my current job, uh, some people may have a very hard time reading all this. Uh, the zoom button is the zoom options are at the bottom right hand side of the screen.
uh, it's at 100% so I will move it to 150% just so it's a little clearer for you on the left hand side at the bottom you see where it says sheet 1 these worksheets allow you to work on multiple projects within the same workbook so I can create click on the plus button and it'll give me another one it says sheet 4 because I've created uh, two other sheets that I've deleted you can edit the names of the sheets by right clicking and clicking on rename or you can double click here and put your cursor here and you can edit the name here and just press enter uh, you can also color code the tabs for example if something is important you can color code it red when the sheet is selected you can see that there's a little gradient it goes from red to white telling you that the sheet is selected but if I go to the second worksheet as you can see the sheet one red is very bright you can also move these worksheets by clicking and dragging them so for example if you want the sheet one to come after test you can click and drag it and drag it back that does not work um, you can also format very easily in Excel uh, there should be an option called cell styles for some of you it may look the options in the ribbon may look different I'm not using a maximized window and my uh, and it depends on uh, your screen size and your screen resolution what the ribbon looks like some of it may be compact for me the cell style is collapsed uh, the sigma sign here which is the auto sum for some of you if you have a wide screen it'll actually say auto sum if you click on the cell styles you will get uh, an overview of what they have if you hover your mouse over it as you can see on the cell here the cell that is selected you get a little preview so you can see what it'll look like before you even select it uh, there's a cool little title one here I'm lazy so I usually go with title uh, if I'm working on a title just to do the preset one you can do heading 4, heading 3, heading 2, heading 1 which is underlined and again remember you can adjust the column width by uh, double clicking and the row height by double clicking um, uh, as time passes I will show you more tutorials in Excel now uh, for now We'll, we'll leave it at hello world and um, hopefully I'll have time to create more videos more tutorials on Excel show you some more both basic and advanced functions in Excel uh, the next one hopefully won't be too far away thank you for watching uh, this video tutorial will also be posted on my easy programming website at easyprogramming.net uh, Excel is not exactly programming, but it does have programming aspects to it, such as um, you know, some functions can be seen as programming, such as if statements, even VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is pretty advanced. And uh, I will post.